Attention, attention, attention. Well, there has been an announcement made by Egypt that claims that it has found five ancient tombs in Saqqara. Are you aware of this yet? Well, if not, a secret world is here to fill you with all the details. Well, this is the most recent in a string of discoveries that have been made in the expansive necropolis south of Cairo. So without wasting any time, let's already start talking about it. So, according to Egypt's Ministry of Antiquities, the stony tombs date back to the Old Kingdom, about 2700 to 2200 BC, and first intermediate, about 2181 to 2055 BC eras of Egyptian history. They discovered in the region that is now known as the northeast of the Pyramid of Merenre, which is a structure that stands 52.5 meters tall and was constructed during the 6th dynasty. According to the ministry, the tombs, which include intricate engravings of multicolored forms, belong to high-ranking officials. The head of Egypt's Supreme Antiquities Council, Mustafa el-Waziri, stated that the first tomb belonged to an officer named Eri. The tomb consists of a burial shaft that is quite deep and leads to a room that is decorated with funerary scenes, portraying offering tables, the seven oils, and the facade of the palace. A limestone sarcophagus was also unearthed within the tomb, he stated in a statement. The second tomb contains a burial shaft in the shape of a rectangle, and it belonged to a woman who may have been the wife of a man named Yaret. The third tomb belonged to Pepi Nefani, who was the administrator of the big house, as well as a priest and the purifier of the home. It features a burial shaft that is 6 meters deep. According to El Waziri, the fourth burial tomb, which is similarly approximately 6 meters deep, belonged to a woman named Peri. She held the position of priestess for Hathor, the goddess of love and fertility. The fifth is reserved for a man by the name of Hanu, who serves at the royal house's overseer and supervisor. It consists of a rectangular 7 meters deep burial shaft, El Waziri remarked. He stated that additional research and investigations would be conducted to uncover additional mysteries hidden within these tombs. Egypt has conducted extensive digging operations in Saqqara in recent years, which has resulted in a string of discoveries, including the unearthing of a 4,400-year-old tomb of royal priest Watye in 2018, as well as the discovery of hundreds of mummified animals and statues the following year. These discoveries were made possible as a result of extensive digging operations. In Saqqara, Egypt, archaeologists discovered more than 50 wooden coffins inside 52 burial tunnels that were discovered the previous year. The oldest sarcophagi discovered in the ancient burial ground have a history that stretches back 3,000 years. They also found the temple that was used for the burial of Queen Nirit, who was the wife of King Teddy, who was the first pharaoh of Egypt's sixth dynasty. Egypt is hoping that the recent finds, in conjunction with the anticipated building of a new mega-museum close to the Giza pyramids later this year, would help revitalize the country's important tourism economy. Miniature wooden boats, games, pottery, and tiny gold pieces were all placed inside the coffins so the deceased might take them with them into the next world. Gods and pharaohs are memorialized in miniature form on amulets and statuettes. Fragments of a 15-foot-long papyrus containing passages from the Book of the Dead, a compendium of spells compiled by priests to aid the dead in their journey through the underworld and into the afterlife, were among the objects unearthed. Ahmed Tariq and Mesa Rabea are putting the shards of papyrus back together in a storage area, much like they would a jigsaw puzzle. Additionally, they are examining and restoring artifacts to learn more about the Egyptian afterlife preparation. Details of ancient life can be pieced together from ceramic fragments unearthed from the ruins. Many were imported, proof that trade flourished between Egypt and Palestine, Cyprus, Crete, and Syria. Hawass said the significance of Saqqara in the New Kingdom may be seen in the excavations and the objects found there. Not only do they shed light on the ideas of the wealthy, but also those of the poor. In February, a camel used for tours of the Saqqara necropolis can be seen relaxing in front of the Step Pyramid of Djoser, but certain discoveries just can't be explained. Hawass anticipates facing new puzzles. He estimates that 20 years are needed to adequately explore this area and learn its secrets. There is still a lot more to uncover in Saqqara, he remarked. Thus yet, we have only uncovered 30% of the site. To paraphrase, 
It's the kind of spot where, no matter where you dig, you'll unearth something interesting. That's all we had for today's video. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.